All right, now that that's out of the way, um, I forgot to tell you something um, last time about tweening. Um, I forgot to mention easing, which is something that will help you a lot it's in animating. It will make everything smoother and stuff. Now, okay, go back to opening this. Um, when you click in the tween, you'll, uh, when you go down to the properties down here in this thing. Hurry up! Um, you'll see, you notice it's easy and it's usually set to zero. And you can mess with it negative or of a negative or positive easing. And I'll tell you what that does. So let's say we want Sonic to come to a slow, to start fast and then stop s slowly in the in the tween to make it more smooth. Then you would ease positively. Like let's put it to a hundred all the way. Now notice how Sonic would stop. Um, hold up. Freaking camera. He would stop slowly. Oh wait, what? The? Even go nowhere. All right. Okay. Let's move him somewhere right here. Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's press enter and test. Well, you may not notice it as much, but. You'll notice he, he starts fast and then and stops slow. It's, and negative easing is the it's just the opposite. He'll start slow and then go fast. Watch. Uh, it makes things smoother. It may it, like if you're going from from top to bottom, it'll give it a sense of gravity. So you, you'll first start out. Um, slow while going down and then end up fast and stuff and then you impale into the ground so yeah easing use it because a dull tween with no e it has no ease it'll be just a dull tween of course don't overuse it but use it a lot it's good it's it helps uh, yeah go away I want to disconnect you there easing use it Okay, you're probably gonna beg for more exact. Oh no, screw you guys. Okay, I'm 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 done. Okay, I'm I'm just stopping. Screw you, guys. Screw you. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna talk about moving backgrounds. Yeah. So, of course, don't ask me where to get backgrounds. Just look for it yourself. It's called Google. Ever used? Ever used it? It's a nice search engine. Go use it if you want a background, but I'm, don't ask me where to find them because they're not that hard to find. Anybody can find them. So um, I already have mines opened up in the fireworks, so I can get this quicker. <coughs> I'm using, I'm gonna use the Mario, um, the Mar um, Super Mario World BGs for this. Um, I already have it selected because this is the second time I tried doing this one, but first one messed up, so I just left everything there, so it, it'll be quicker. Anyway. So yeah, let's once you select your your background, copy it. Same thing you do with normal sprites. You copy and paste. Um, paste them. At least that's what I do. Some people do different stuff. I'll tell you about the different ways later. <sighs> paste in there. Okay, one thing for backgrounds. Hold on. Usually you leave them to the bottom layer. The background should always have its very own layer alone. Always. So usually at the bottom layer and usually um, on its own layer. Well, always on its own layer, of course, because you're gonna do stuff with it. So now that it's on its own layer, one thing you do not resize the background, never. You simply make everything else smaller so that it fits with the background, but you never make it bigger. For the sake of file size and lag, it's always better to just make everything smaller with it instead of make the background bigger. If you want to make it longer, for example, because that's obviously not going to do much. So, what you want to do is um, either copy and paste this one again. It's both the same. We can just go in the library, grab it, and drag it out. But this is the same thing. So, once you. Ugh, oh my god, I hit this camera. Record or whatever. Once you grab this, you put it right next to it. Uh, of course, zoom in to make it match better there's always that white little line that might come up so uh, down a little more of course 
you can also break it apart because breaking apart doesn't really much do any um do any difference to it. So you can break it apart or you can just leave it on, uh, as it is. I would just leave it as it is because I'm lazy. So now that that's done, you can let's add let's just add three for the sake of it. Uh, I'm gonna just move it with the arrow keys. It's much it's less work. Uh, let me see. Okay, there. Convert this entire thing into a symbol. You press F8 or just right click, convert to symbol. Um, leave this as a graphic because one, another thing is that you never ever put filters on a background in Flash. That's going to cause tremendous lag and, and yeah, tr a lot of lag and some file size increase. Do not add filters in Flash. If you want to make it blur or something like that, you do it in an external program like in fireworks or photoshop you blur it here you add the blur and everything here but do not do not do it in flash that's hot um, that's a big thing to note on don't do it in flash so first thing is grab the first and make sure the um um the stage here this white stage thing that you start out with is basically like a camera whatever is inside here is what's going to show in the export if you don't use this VCAM, uh, VCAM and again, I'll tell you what that is later. So whatever's in here is what uh, is what exports. Let's match this correctly. So when you export, you're gonna see this. You move it up and down, whatever. Whoa, whoa what the fuck? Something just crawled around my back. Uh. -uh. Okay, whoa, sorry. Something just crawled down my back and it scared the living crap out of me. I did not scream like a little girl and blocked it. Um, anyway, now that the BG's there, let's move it down. Um, oh, hold on, I just messed up. Okay, let's move it down right here, make sure it matches, let's see how that looks in the export. Okay, that's good enough. The, I know there's going to be a gap there because I'm, t I'm too lazy to fix that. You'll fix it on your own. I'm just gonna zoom it in so I can show just this. Zoom in so I can just show the part that matters right here. Oh, whoa, what the heck is that? <coughs> oh, I, yeah, so that's gonna happen if you don't zoom in and fix it correctly. So do it again manually. Make sure it's perfect, not showing a single white line. Zoom it in again. Oh my god, okay. Uh, Okay, zoom in more, I guess. Jesus, freaking picky. What the? I don't see any problem. Oh, now. Okay. What the hell? I don't see anything. Oh, great. I don't see anything wrong here. I don't get why is this showing a white line. Okay, screw it. Whatever. You'll fix it on your own. What the heck is wrong with this thing? It's not supposed to happen. Let me see if I can find it. And I can't. There's no white line. Oh, wait. Oh, I found it. Okay, I guess that was my fault. Is it fixed now? No more white lines. Okay, it should be fixed now. Please, God. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, fixed. Great. By the way, um, I just export. Control Enter. Remember that export. And Control Minus to zoom out without using this tool right here. Now that we have the background, we're gonna make it go from it. We'll make it scroll. It says I'm gonna make it scroll slowly because this is a big background. This this usually goes slow anyway. So let's go to create motion screen. I'll, I'll tell you how to make it go on loop properly while going fast. So because when you when you make it go slow, it's kind of hard to make it loop properly without using two backgrounds. So, 
I'll also tell you how to do that later if I come if I feel like doing it. So um, let's let me zoom out so you can see better what I'm doing. So in the, in the last frame, I'm just gonna move it so that the last form part is what matches with the stage. I'm gonna zoom in and make it perfect. Uh, right there, that's good enough. So when you export, uh, let me zoom in. You see that oh, it's a little laggy because of the camera, not me. So you'll start to see, and also loops wrong because it's going slow. That I know, but don't worry about that. So yeah, now it's moving. Congratulations, you made it move. Now I'm gonna. This usually goes slow. So and um, oh yeah, one more thing on tweens on frames in general. The 